Kidu mentality. You know, back home we have another phrase, and that's the Kidu mentality. You know, whenever things go wrong, we queue up, waiting to see His Majesty, you know, with all our problems. Or we queue up and expect everything to be done, you know, to help us resolve our own problems. So this mentality also needs to change. Um, a lot of our work at BCMD is about um, this sort of change, thinking, changing consciousness, and then also prompting some action, especially among young people, to say that there is a future, how do we get there? How are you going to get us there? What is your role there? What is my role? How do we do this? Right? Um, so supporting critical thinking, promoting space like this for public discussion is some of the work we do. Um, so that we can move away from being like observers of democracy, or observers of governance, or observers of what's going wrong in the world, right? To becoming more active participants. They say we should stop sitting in armchairs and bars and restaurants and complaining. There's no point sitting and complaining about the municipality, not keeping the town clean, or uh, you know, so and so not putting flowers in the roundabouts. Uh, we need to go and do it. Um, the new paradigm gives us this possibility, you know, shows us that, look, no one's going to come and do it for us, we have to do it ourselves. And so some of the scenarios, you know, that exist today that we have to overcome. Um, one is this paternalistic attitude that we have. Not bad, it's not a bad thing. I mean, this is how, you know, we we've just emerged from, or we're emerging from a very traditional society situation where, you know, I hear a lot of older people saying, what do I know? I've never been to school, but ask my son. They, he knows everything, or my daughter knows everything because they go to school. But I think we have permitted that to go on for so long that we've not acknowledged that there's a lot of wisdom on the land. There's a lot of wisdom with experience. There's a lot of memory with experience that must continue. You know, this interdependence, this cyclical nature of things, means that we need to accept that there, there needs to be all ages, all gender, genders, <laughs> all sorts, you know, all colors, to make democracy work. Because we respect our elders, we uh, respect authority, uh, many of us uh, find it very difficult to share our views if they are contrary to the views of people in authority. And that we have found even through research. A lot of young people especially hesitate because they find it very difficult to say it because they think that Lebe will not accept it, you know. Um, Sir will get really mad, <laughs> right? Um, so this, this, uh, this hesitation now needs, we have to find a way to overcome this and also to provide the space in schools so that youngsters can challenge thinking can challenge issues, because that, that's the only time when real learning can take place. Um, and um, schools also need to be prepared to discuss and to accept diverse views. But if we can um, try and find a way to get people to understand that diversity is a matter of life, is a part of nature, right? that openness, I think, is important to our sovereignty and to our survival. And the feedback is exceedingly important.